Hello guys and ladies. Um, today I'm working on a 2009 Toyota Prius, which is the second generation. It's a 1.5 liter engine. And this particular model ranges from 2004 to 2009. So I'm gonna show you how to install the Alternative Performance Engineering or APE Flex Fuel Kit into your Prius. It's not gonna be perfect. It's gonna be nasty and quick. And uh, let's get to it. So you're gonna need, you know, maybe a handful of tools, a screwdriver, a flathead, you know, maybe some pliers, a 10 millimeter wrench. You know, that's pretty much it. Not too, nothing too crazy. Of course, you wanna make sure the engine is off. Uh, if you wanna be extra cautious, you might maybe unplug the battery, the 12 volt battery out of the trunk. So here's what the kit has. Uh, we have a GM flex fuel sensor, which is right here. We got the uh, flex fuel badge that goes in the back of the car. We got instructions. There's going to be this longer hose right here. That's going to be the one that tucks in under there and goes around to the back. And then we got the shorter hose that's going to attach right here, more towards the front like this. This right here. And that's going to plug into the sensor, flex fuel sensor. This is what basically senses how much ethanol is in your fuel. This will send a signal to the module right here. This is where the magic happens. This is the brain. And it, this one also has a Bluetooth capability and you can download an app on the App Store or the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, sorry. And you will be able to play with some settings if you want, but it, you don't even need it. You can just plug it in and, and run it without the app. Uh, and it will adjust everything automatically. You don't have to even think about it. And then it comes with the harness, which I already uh, bundled up over here. And the harness consists of, it's very simple. You have these plugs for the injectors, four injectors, because it's a four cylinder. We have the plug that goes right into this module right here. And this one plugs into this flex fuel sensor. And this one plugs into the ground. But remember, if you turn this on, Without this attached, you can risk frying the module. So make sure this is one of the first things you plug in just to be on the safe side. So we're gonna take these 10 millimeter bolts out right here, like this. You know, it's already loosened up. And I'm sure you know how to use a ratchet wrench. Move that out of the way, like that. Then we're gonna take these out. This one, there's two bolts right here. Those come out for the air filter box and then there's a 10 millimeter down here you can take that one out so a hose clamp and this hose clamp here so you can disconnect this one and lift this up out, out of the way like that there's the throttle and there's the hose clamp we're talking about with the airflow sensor you can take a look under here see this one right here we're gonna take that off okay that's gonna be our grounding point all right, the, uh, the fuel lines are back here. And I already kind of loosened them up, but they have a connection on it. It looks like this, okay? It's got a clip on the top and kind of a guard. All you have to do is kind of pry this back. You can use like a, a small flathead screwdriver or if you're strong, you can pull it by hand. But you can pop this off first. There's two of them. It's one right here. And there's one back here. So pop this off like this. See? There. And here is, you push this button and lift it up. And the fuel line comes off here, like that. And you do the same for this one. This one has a button on this side. All right. I don't know if I can, you can see it. Zoom it in, you push it with your finger and lift it up like this. And that's your fuel hose, it comes out. It looks easy because I already took it off. You might have a little struggle, that's okay. So this is what the fuel hose looks like. And basically, you wanna squeeze 
the two clips together. It's got this one has yellow ones. The ends you squeeze it together, and it spreads those apart, and then you can kind of wiggle it out and pull it out. Sometimes you want to push push these together, push it towards the thing, and then away, and it'll come off. But it has a little O-ring inside there. You see that O-ring? That seals it. So this is what we got going on. It's kind of a silly design, but hey, I'm not an engineer. I'll let them figure it out. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and install this guy. This is gonna be plugged in here. The bigger end has two sizes, a bigger end on this side and a smaller end on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and route it back here. And let's see if I can get a better angle here. Routed right there. See behind that that line. There it is. And we're gonna go ahead and attach this by pushing down on the connector. See that? I'm gonna center it and push it down. Click. There we go. It's nice and snug. And there we have this end over here. Right there. Okay, and then we got this end right here, and the small end is gonna go to the connection down there, and the big end's gonna go, the straight piece is gonna go this way. Tuck it in here. And plug it in. You might have to bend the line a little bit back to get more clearance. Push it down. There it goes. Clicked. Make sure it's on snug. Okay. Now they're now they're gonna be facing each other. Just good. And we're gonna plug in the flex fuel sensor. Get in this end here. I'm doing this with one hand. Sorry guys. Clip it in. Send. If you want, you can spray some WD-40 or whatever on this to make it go in easier. It's not working very well. It's got an O-ring, so it'll help the O-ring slide. There we go. And I'm going to actually, I'm not going to do it right now, but I'm going to zip tie this so it tucks away and doesn't touch the cover right there. Just crisscross the zip ties. Okay, now I'm going to route this wiring harness. This is pretty easy, too. So all you have to do is... Uh, Here's the this part, so I bundled it up to make it neat already. So plug this in right here so it bottoms out. Plug in the connector to the flex fuel sensor. Done. Click. I'm gonna zip tie that on here later. I'm gonna run this guy right here. The ground wire. And you can find a ground in a lot of places, but I decided to go right here because it's pretty easy to get to. And there we go. And we're gonna clamp that down so I don't forget right away. That's done, ground is done first. And I'm gonna run this underneath this back here and lay it oh boy. Lay it right here. And this unplugs like this. And I marked the positive and negative, just in case yours didn't come pre-assembled, but it should. And this is the part that may not be pre-assembled. So this end, the pink or the red, is towards the clip, All right? So you just push the tab and wiggle it around a little bit and lift it up. And then you get the pigtails like this, the two next to each other. 
you plug one end in like this, click it, and then the other end goes like this. That. And there we go. And uh, you do the same to all the other ones. Just like that. Very easy. Sorry, my finger's in the camera. Okay, and I'm gonna finish off all that. It wouldn't hurt to take a look at the pins, make sure the pins are straight. Because sometimes the pins get, you know, moved out of the way or jostled. But you can see this is very easy to install. Like, it, it'd probably take you at the most half an hour to install this. I mean, if you're completely incompetent, you might take an hour, but that's not that long. And you'll be full flex fuel on your Prius. And this would also work, uh, this kit should be the same one as a Yaris or any of those other 1.5 liter engines from Toyota. A very similar process. And it's fully compatible with those cars too. And you'll be, have all the advantages of ethanol, including the economical pricing. So I can lay this down here, out of the way. You know what, I'm going to probably throw in a couple zip ties. I'm going to pause the video and then kind of look it over and we'll start up the car and make sure there's no leaks. Okay, here we go. It's all mounted up. I'm going to do the final clipping of the zip tie. Use a like a clipper for your fingernail so it doesn't cut you. And let's see if these guys. Cool. That's all there is to it. It's all good. See that? Beautiful. Okay, next step. Gonna go ahead and um, put this back together. Right here. Pick up all the accessories. Now it's all plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the ignition. Right here. Okay. And okay. it's running. Do we have any fuel leaks? Let's see. No leak there. No leak over there. Get a better view. No leaks. No leak. No leak. Looks like we're good. See how smooth she's running? Excellent. Now this Prius is equipped to run E85 ethanol, flex fuel, or gasoline. Any mixture. Uh, benefits are, uh, depending where you live and the gas prices, usually the ethanol is going to save you money at the pump. Uh, it's going to be 100 octane fuel, typically, depending on the mixture. Um, you're going to get, right now the gas prices are about 5 bucks a gallon. In California and the ethanol is three bucks a gallon so gasoline five bucks ethanol three bucks that's a win-win uh, you can't lose on that if you're if you're wanting to run uh, E85 and save money you're looking at least uh, if it's 25% uh, well 20-25% uh, cheaper than the, the gas then you're breaking even uh, or 
if it's more than 25, like 30% or more, then you're actually saving money. You're gonna reduce your fuel economy uh, and your range by 20% on average with E85. Maybe up to 28% if it's a full, you know, mixture, roughly. This is a ballpark, okay? Don't quote me on that. E85, I've noticed, will actually tend to clean the injectors and in the fuel system. You know, it also runs cooler and I, I've had experiences where the engine actually lasts longer in the long run uh, and you'll get about 10% more power roughly uh, 10 to 15% I've, I've seen with ethanol even with uh, non-turbo applications because it has the cooling uh, effect from the injectors the sprays in the intake if you want to pick one of these kits up yourself go to apeflexfuel.com right here uh, you can click the link to find I'll, I'll supply a link below where, you know, if you're lazy, you don't want to type it out. And uh, the, the code for uh, the discount code is actually going to be Subtle Driver, the same as my uh, account name on YouTube. So, you know, the channel, the channel name, that's going to be the discount code. So you'll get yourself a nice little hefty discount. I've had success on these, uh, even with high miles, 400,000 miles, doesn't hurt anything. It's just gonna run like gasoline. It's not gonna hurt the fuel pumps, not gonna hurt the injectors, unlike what everybody says. I've run these for, for many, many years. I've actually run ethanol on many cars for the past 12 years, no problems. Uh, on these Toyotas, been running it personally for a, a little over three years on a, another Toyota, app, several Toyota applications and no issues with the injectors or fuel system. So don't worry, but if your fuel pump is already on its way out, um, it's on its way out. It's gonna die, don't blame the kit. You know, the fuel is not gonna hurt anything, despite what everybody says, it really won't. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's got all the additives needed to prevent corrosion and lubricate all the system, okay? Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe and like button and, and write a little comment if you have any questions you could also hit me up on instagram uh subtle driver on instagram at subtle driver i'll be able to get to you quicker on instagram well thanks for watching guys have a nice day